Hello from undermounddc.com. I'd like to introduce our options for integrating heat for 2024 into our AC systems. This product is called the Heat Extension Box. Essentially, the Heat Extension Box speaks to our heat capable thermostats and it allows you to control four independent relays. These independent relays are tied in with the control system of the thermostat, meaning that you can control an S bar or Webasto heater. You can control a valve that opens and closes coolant output and input into the evaporator core. There will be several variants of this heat extension box depending on your requirements and needs. Some of them will be a bare bones relay box giving you the heat capability on the thermostat and the ability to speak to one of these relay extension boxes. Or if you require a deeper integration, we will offer this complete heat extension box which has a built-in SBAR CAN bus module so you're able to control your SBAR heater directly from this box, plug and play. All you have to do is provide it with power and provide it with a signal from the thermostat itself. There's essentially no physical difference in the size or shape of the thermostat. This is the standard uh, temperature probe. The addition here is this three pin cable. This is the communications cable between it and the actual heat module. That is the only difference physically with the thermostat. To explain the functionality here, on the right here, you have a regular cooling thermostat, so it does not have a heating mode. The thermostat on the left does have a heating mode, and it also has a hot water mode. Essentially what happens is when you put it in heating, it will turn on the blower on the evaporator, and it'll kick on relay one and relay two. Relay one represents whatever heater you have connected to it, and relay two represents whatever electronic valve that you have that's required to be open for, in order to allow flow through the evaporator. In the case of our SBAR Canvas Equipped module, that module has an SBAR Canvas module, so that relay will trigger the Canvas module. Canvas module, in turn, will turn on the SBAR. So in standard operation, the valve is closed, allowing coolant to bypass the uh, evaporator, and it allows for the functionality of a hot water button. The hot but water button allows you to start hot water heating, meaning that it'll only trigger the number one relay, which is the SBAR or the Webasto heater. And if your system is built in a loop, it'll continuously heat that loop, and as a result, heat up your heat exchanger, which is responsible for heating up your hot water. Now, if your system is not built in the loop, this hot water button also triggers the number three relay, and that number three relay means that you can trigger either a separate water pump or a separate bypass valve. Whatever your requirement is, it will, it'll trigger number one and number three when this button is pressed. It'll trigger uh, one and two when the hot air heating is required. Here's a better understanding of how the heat valve works. Essentially, you'll get this electronic heat valve a spacer to keep it in line, as you can see on this evaporator setup, and a pair of hoses. These are 5 eighths of an inch hose, and they're perfectly cut out for the input and the output on our HVAC evaporator. The system is plug and play. You just have this connector that plugs into this unit, and then you'll have your input and your output. The way this valve works when it's in the off position, it bypasses the core, making turning this into a loop. So it loops this guy into this guy, the input into the output, and the opposite is true in the opposite end, it loop this guy into this guy. When the valve is in the on position, so when it's triggered by the heat module, it'll turn this guy into the input and this guy into the output. So you'll have an input and an output. The reason we do this is because when you're using a hot water mode in the summertime and you'd be using your AC system, you don't want hot water to be circulating through the heater core in the evaporator because it goes the entire length as the AC evaporator core. So you'll be fighting cooling a system that's also heating. The way that we plan on selling this is we plan on offering a upgrade thermostat that has that is heat capable along with its 
relay module so you can use these inputs and outputs however you choose all you have to do is provide a power and connect it with the communications cable the other option with or without a electronic bypass valve the heat valve and then the complete option would be the heat box extension box which comes with the s-bar can bus module all the wiring necessary everything's plug and play just provide power and provide connection to the thermostat and then for those that don't require the s-bar can bus module you just want to trigger trigger it externally we will offer a module that'll have accessible relays and it'll still be included with the heat valve the hose is required for the heat valve the standoff and all the necessary hardware outside of an actual S-Bar or Webasto control module. Now you may have noticed that the heat extension box has four relay outputs. One being for the S-Bar or the Webasto, one being for the heat valve, one being for a water pump or additional heat valve for hot water use. And then the last one is for a planned 120 volt heating element. The use of this last relay will be available via a software update and it will allow you to use a 120 volt heating element. We plan on releasing a coolant expansion tank that has a 120 volt uh, heating element. Stay tuned to the website for more details on release dates of the expansion tank. Feel free to email us sales at undermountac.com with any questions, comments, or concerns. We're always listening and always open. Thank you.